Hi and welcome to this new tutorial and today I will try to reproduce an effect I saw passing on a VG Union Global uh, Facebook group uh, which is this one. So we are going to try to attempt to do more or less same kind of, um, of uh, animations that we see here. And so we see that there's some kind of uh, wave uh, shape animating, uh, circular wave animating the position of uh, some uh, points uh, with line. Uh, and which are scattered uh, along the way uh, following this kind of six triangle uh, shape. So we are going to try to do that in this mode. And uh, at first I will uh, use um, a geosphere. So let's create a new composition with a camera and no material bank because I will need a few materials to do this effect and put a resolution, a square resolution. So better to always start working with the camera, which is here currently. So let's create a geosphere and do a right click renderer sprite point so we can see uh, the point of my geosphere. So let's change a little bit the size of my sphere like that, augment a little bit the subdivision of my sphere for and reduce the size of sprite point. So you see I have more or less the same uh, disposition that uh, we have on the example. Uh, but I want to not display the points that I have on the background. So to do that, I will do a simple thing, which is creating a plane that is currently here in the middle of the composition, rotated by 90 degrees, and put it a renderer, surface renderer, and keep only the diffuse to put it in full black. And so this plane, it's currently just, uh, if you see in tree, uh, cutting my sphere into two parts. So now I want to flatten a little bit my sphere to not have this kind of things uh, going on uh, here. So to have the clearest uh, array of points possible. So in order to do that, uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, put on my geosphere a 3D transform that I will put uh, is scale at zero well, 0 0.03, uh, for instance, and what does this um, 3D transform? It just flatten my sphere uh, to have like a, a flat uh, array of points. And I will use only the center part here, uh, which show a nice, uh, nicest, uh, the nicest um, uh, scattering of points. So let's call it flat. And now I will add a new uh, 3D transform and this one I will use for my animation. So what I will say to this 3D transform is just to go a little bit up, okay? And so between zero and 100% of my uh, transformation, I have this kind of movement. Now I will use a mask, a layer mask to transform, uh, to create this movement and so to mask some parts of my effect. So to do that, I will use a, a mask layer mask. Okay. So right now my layer mask is only um, full white. So let's do a composition uh, of this mask and let's use a square composition like that. So now my mask is full white, which means my effect is applied uh, everywhere. Now, if I put, uh, over this uh, map here, a little mask like that. Now you see that my effect is applied only on half part of the sphere. You see if I, okay, that's what is happening. So let's create some uh, circular wave into this mask. And to do that, I will create a linear gradient, right? I will use a first uh, 2D transform to scale down a little bit, so by half, and put a mirror repeat. So this I will call repeat, so we know what's what. And let's create another 2D transform, which I will use to do the animation of my mask. So let's create a simple linear loop on the, on the placement of this uh, second 2D transform, right, to do that. And last thing I will last thing I will do is use the last uh, distort, which is the polar coordinate, and I will put that after my two other uh, modifier. And now I have uh, this kind of uh, circular wave. So before my polar coordinate and after, 
Um, now let's see what's happening in 3D space. Okay, I have something happening, but you see some strange deformation uh, here um, because let's just add that a little bit of length. The issue here is that my layer mask is currently using the UV map of uh, my sphere, which is uh, space, uh, an object in three, dimension, uh, in three dimensions. What I want to do is to use the mask using the first room of my camera to be sure that my mask is projected over my sphere um, accordingly to my camera to have a nice uh, round wave effect. So to do that, before the animation 3D transform, I will use an attribute modifier, which is a UV camera mapping. Let's put that before and let's use our camera. OK, and now what I'm doing is currently reprojecting UVs uh, of the sphere um, based on the position of my, uh, my camera here. So which means that if I go put my camera closer, you see that the transformation is changing because my UV are projected using this camera. But they are projecting at this point of the geosphere, so just before my animations that use uh, the UV of the sphere. So I first modify the UV of my sphere and then use a tree transform with the layer max that I will that will use this previously created here with the UV camera mapping. Um, uh, UV. So now I need to have this kind of uh, line I see here. So to do that, I will use another modifier over my geosphere, which is an operator motion lines. Tuk, 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 tuk. OK. So now let's put my sprite points in uh, screen space mode and 10 pixel wide. OK, let's put that at uh, 15 pixel wide and let's take my default line and put them in also constant size, constant size in pixel and put them at uh, 15 pixel. So we have my sprite points and my lines that should be uh, the same size. So inside my sprite point, instead of using uh, this dot, I will use the disk. OK. And now let's remove the test and write of my sprite point so we do not have this kind of uh, black uh, overlay here. This is uh, on the edges of my point. OK. And let's put the sprite point after the tick line. Let's see what's work best. I think I need to use the right and not the test. Okay, I have something nice. Now I need to um, create uh, my array of points. I need them to uh, finish by a line like that. So let's see inside the tick line and let's reduce that a little bit. Let's uh, leave that in 10 pixels. All right, here and 10 pixels here. OK, uh, what I will do is expose this parameter as uh, pixel parameter. Uh, and let's link the size of my line connect to uh, to this uh, to this parameter. So let's call it width. So now I can move uh, the size of my point and of my line uh, with the same parameter, which will be more convenient. So my line uh, right now, why is are full white? It's because they have a white uniform inside the uh, line renderer. So my line here, uh, this texture will be displayed uh, along my lines, my uh, thick lines. So here is the beginning of my motion line and here on the right, the end. So what I will do is a simple uh, placement mask that I will put as a perspective uh, mask, go in edit mode, and just mask my texture to do a triangle. So that's the most convenient way to do it. OK, and now I have this nice uh, triangle shapes. So now let's uh, so this animation, uh, you remember, is the thing that I use to displace uh, my sphere and to augment the size uh, of this uh, effect like that. So now the issue I have uh, in my composition regarding the reference is that here I have a huge displacement on the center, but not so big on the size. So it's, um, 
it become less and less effective on the side of the of the map so we have two ways to fix this uh, issue and we are going to use the masks uh, to settle this uh, issue the first thing i can do is inside this uh, map here i can put a simple uh, radial mask circle mask okay why did he put that in okay 100 percent okay what is happening come on small okay and let's put a little uh, feather here like that and let's see what's happening Tum, 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 tum. Okay, it's frozen. Yeah, it kind of work, but not the effect I wanted to do. So, other way to configure it, uh, to reduce this uh, effect on the side, is to use another mask over my animation, which will be a sphere mask, and put this mask as multiply. And wait a little bit. I don't know why it's behaving like that. Okay, so now I have my sphere mask on the center, which will modulate my overall effect because it's set as multiply. So let's change the sphere radius like that. And augment a little bit. And now you see that on the center, my point are currently having a way bigger effect than on the size. And I can modulate that by changing the exponent of my sphere. That, and let's put a bigger animation. Okay. Now you see that here I have my point that does a movement like poof, 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 a very sharp movement, but on the reference it's more soft uh, the way it uh, behaves and this is probably because the mask I use uh, to do my animation so this mask is a linear uh, function so it's like a function that go from uh, white to black and black to white but without uh, uh, you see uh, like that so on my linear gradient what I will say it change that to keyframes okay and let's see if we can fix that this way by changing this in Bezier mode and this in Bezier mode and let's see if we can change a little bit the way it behave okay well let's check hmm it's still quite sharp mm, where is that hmm Let's reuse a bit on. Yeah, how could we change this? Maybe it's because I am in linear, so let's put that in sRGB. Okay. Let's put that back into keyframe. And we have to have something smoother. So maybe we can, we will change a little bit the mask. And instead of using a linear gradient as this step, maybe I will use a checkerboard. Okay, a checkerboard like that. So let's see what's happening here. And put a checkerboard separated in two pieces. And add, okay. No, my animation look like that. And let's put a little blur modifier over this. Blur is using by default a Gaussian curve, so something smoother, the gradient. And let's see with something like that, if it's better. Yeah, it's smoother. But this uh, method with the Gaussian blur is actually using a little bit more power than a uh, more... Um, it consumes more energy than uh, the simple linear gradient. Uh, so maybe that should be possible to do a um, linear gradient that is not linear, but that use uh, some kind of uh, function. And maybe I could use a gradient to use this one. Let's see, linear gradient, let's put that in linear. 
And let's see what option I have in this gradient and remove the Gaussian blur for now. Oh, that seems better with this linear gradient. Yeah, this linear gradient should be should be better. Yeah. Now I have some that's going on here. Let's reduce a little bit the size here. And why do I have these things? Maybe I will use my rasterize modifier on my mask. Mm hmm. So where does it come from? This thing. Because I think to have something quite seamless here, and that should be the case. Hmm. So why, why, why? Put that in 32 bits, maybe? No, not helping. Putting a little blur overall, like with one pixel radius. Hmm. Where does this fucking thing come from? Maybe my line, if I change the algorithm here. Okay, not good idea. Not good idea. Not good idea either. Huh. Okay, it was just uh, my sprites uh, that were doing some kind of Z fight with my line. So, yeah, that can be settled in this test right uh, dev buffer thing. Okay, that should that looks pretty much like it uh, right now. So now you can uh, modulate the effect. So, um, for instance, use this parameter into my animation to change the way I want uh, my animation to behave. So let's put that in zero and just make a translation on the upper side. Okay, now in two sides. Okay, or with a rotation. Hmm, not so good with the rotation. Let's put this rotation, okay. Okay, now you have some kind of fully parameterable uh, things to do your your animation. Uh, and as always, uh, I will uh, save this composition and leave it in the small uh, forum so that you can use it. So let's put that back uh, as it was before with one meter here, okay. And oh, and let's save because once again I forgot. So wave of motion lines. Okay, that's all. Hope um, you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want me to reproduce some kind of visual that you've seen on the internet, just just uh, ask, and that will be my pleasure. See you.